Mark Carno and Jimmy McGee was there to see them. A unique occasion in Carlo, the first time the Dr. Cullen Park had housed two provincial semi-finals on the same day. The current All-Ireland champions, Kilkenny, against the current B All-Ireland champions, Carlo. The time to check the difference between the two grades, and perhaps time itself, the main difference. Time on the ball, whether to dither or do. The Carlo defence in a dither here. Eamon Morrissey with a pass to Adrian Ronan. When Ronan's shot is stopped, Morrissey's the first to react a Kilkenny goal. One of two that Morrissey was to get in the game. And then watch this for clinical finishing. Adrian Ronan supplies the pass, and DJ Carey, the finish, his only scores the game, but then he only played the first half. Perhaps the best striker Carlo had on the day was this man, John McDonald, number 10. Sweet on the ball, good eye for an opening, good eye for the support pass, and giving this particular one in here to his centre half forward, John Byrne, and Byrne taking a nice point for Carlo. Lee McCarthy at the start of the second half to full forward. Joe Hayden had subbed for Carlo in the first half, and he made a great contribution, scoring an all five points. This one of them. Well, that move of Lee McCarthy's to full forward was immediately to pay dividends. Flashing goal from him, the number 10 showing that he's happy there as he is in the half forward line. Kilkenny with the better striking ability coming to take their chances. Here's Morrissey again, and watch this for pace. He was taken off in the last game against Offaly, but today he made his point emphatically, scored two goals and three points. <laughs> Carlo coming looking for a late score, and Michael Walsh proving himself in the goal. The margin may have been great, but the winning goalkeeper is still entitled to showcase his talents and how well Michael Walsh did in the Kilkenny goal. Coming up, another super save on a day when he wasn't too busy, but his concentration was always good. The man who hits it, not surprisingly, that fine striker for Carlo, John McDonald. Well done, Walsh. Final margin in Kilkenny's favour, five goals and three points. The second game today was always going to be closer. Leash coming with a good reputation. But this man coming up with one as well. He scored six points against Dublin last time out, Tom Dempsey. Wexford at the start switched Martin's story to left half forward. Did it pay? You bet it did. One of his fine points in the early stages of the game. Martin's story, number 10, but playing left half forward. The best of his points early on was this one. The puck out from Damien Fitzhenry. How about that for a fetch and a finish? Martin's story. A bad blow for Leash, one of the very best players and one of the key men today, John Taylor, pulling ligaments, I think, and he's off. They needed a boost, and they were soon to get it. A 45-meter sideline cut with deadly accuracy landed by Niall Rigney. Lovely score. Leash, as they say, giving as good as they got, battling in to come in on top of that goal again. Fitzhenry Eagle Eye, that's a brilliant save by Fitzhenry. Turning it behind for the 65. But not even all the agility of the young teenage Wexford goalkeeper could prevent a goal for Leash. Persistence paid off. PJ Cuddy coming in on the ball. Out comes this Henry. Tries to smother it. Cuddy shows all his experience. Flicks it into the net. Two more points were to follow. Leash four ahead at half time. Wexford had to do something, and they did. They scored the first four points of the second half, three of them to this man, Tom Dempsey. He was deadly accurate from play, and particularly from free. Then Noel Delaney gave Leash the lead. Dempsey equalized again for Wexford from 63 meters, and then he scored a fine point. Watch it. Tom Dempsey all the way from midfield. A competitive match all the way, but then... Leash was suddenly down to 14 men, and off the camera, off the ball, Inson, Tomas done on the ground, and Mick O'Hara in trouble with the referee. Leash down to 14 players, down but not out. Their leading scorer, Tony Dunn, had still one more trick to play. A good run, penetrating the defence, but Damien Fitzhenry equal to it. That was Leash's last throw. Wexford would win in the end with a three points to spare. 
one more time. It's a Kilkenny Wexford Leinster Senior Hurling Final. Jimmy McGee there. Well, now let's have a full rundown on the day's main.